Hey everyone, this one says factor the following polynomial using the negative of the greatest common factor. Now we normally want to do that whenever the leading term is a negative because when we factor out the GCF, whatever's left inside the parentheses, we want that to be positive. And that may make more sense later if it doesn't just yet. We want to tackle this the same way we tackled other factoring out the GCF problems. We look at each one of these terms starting with the coefficients and figure out what's the greatest number that divides into 7, 42, and 35. Well that would be 7, but we're going to take out a negative 7, so the GCF is going to include negative 7. And then we turn to the variables. Well there's only one variable here, x, so it's x to the fourth, x to the third, and x squared. Well what they have in common is the x squared. Remember it's the smallest exponent that's common to all three. So negative 7x squared is what we're going to be factoring out. So the GCF is 7x squared, but we're taking out the negative of it. And so remember, the GCF is, I mean, the, uh, the answer is going to be the GCF times something. So let's figure out what the something is now, what goes inside the parentheses. And remember, we get that by taking the GCF and dividing that into each one of those original terms in the polynomial. So I'm going to divide everything by that negative 7x squared. I mean, I'm dividing by the sign as well as the GCF because that's what's coming to the outside. So whatever's on the outside of the parentheses, that's what gets divided into each one of these terms. So what happens to the signs? Well, negative 7 divided by a negative 7 becomes a positive 1, so it's canceled. x to the fourth over x squared is x squared. 42 divided by a negative 7. 42 divided by a negative 7 would be a negative uh, 6. Got to watch the signs there, right? Positive, positive divided by negative is negative. x cubed over x squared is just x. And then the last term, negative, uh, rather a positive 35 divided by a negative 7 is a negative 5. The x squares cancel completely. So there's the uh, result. We can check it and should. Negative 7 x squared times a positive x squared is a negative 7 x to the fourth. A negative 7 x squared times a negative 6 x. Well, the negative times negative gives me back the positive. 7 times 6 is 42. x squared times x is x cubed. That checks out. Negative 7 x squared times negative 5. Well, negative times negative is positive. 7 times 5 is 35. x squared, yep, checks out. So that's the way you factor out the negative of the GCF.